And you, we see it. We see it in the flooding. We see it with the pictures, the videos from all over the state. And it shows the ice. And it shows the flooded roads over the last three days. Now, it really looks cool and beautiful, but it's both devastating and very dangerous. So how does this actually happen? And what causes it to happen so early when typically we see this happening in the springtime? Well, as of right now, here's what we've got. We currently have a flood warning for the Housatonic River, the Connecticut River, also the Pawcatuck River. So that's due to the combination of snow melt, lots of rain that we saw on Friday, and abnormally cold temperatures over the last three weeks. So what the cold has done is it caused the ice to form and form really rapidly. But the warmth and the rain from Friday has caused these dangerous conditions. Now water, it has a ton of power and the more water you get, the harder it's going to push on the ice. And when the rain came, ice started breaking up into big chunks that were pushed downstream. As rivers start to narrow or ice gets clogged up, this ice will push together and form a makeshift dam and it forces the water that's behind it to back up. Once that happens, water will flood upstream and that causes the conditions and unfortunately, well, the beautiful sights that we've seen over the last handful of days. Now, the best thing that we can get over the next couple of weeks, it's a very slow and gradual thaw. We need very little rain. And we also need a little bit of snow that will very slowly melt. Let's hope that that happens. Unfortunately, we've got more snow on the way like we're forecasting.